Welcome back in. The Toledo men picked up a midweek win against Cleveland State earlier this week. Tonight, beginning conference play up in Ypsilanti against Eastern Michigan, a team that has given them some fits over the years. The Toledo men making that short trip just up 23 a little bit. And you know that Eagle zone defense, it always makes things so tough, but it didn't seem to be much of a problem tonight. Off the rebound, Spencer Littleson, top of the arc, extra pass over to Marion Jackson. A little hesitation gives him space to drain a three. Jackson led the team with 20 in the game. Then Eastern would leave Ryan Rollins all alone on the wing. They'd get it to him. The true freshman drilling a three ball of his own. UT had a double digit lead midway through the first half. Later, Seth Milner from the free throw line turns and fires. Rockets had a 16 point lead at the break. In the second half, Eastern would pull to within two, but the Rockets would never lose their lead. Off the shot miss, Jonathan Kalagoom, a monstrous two hand jam. Toledo wins 91 74, and Christy Kopanis has more. Jordan, that zone defense that makes Eastern Michigan so tough didn't seem to phase Toledo tonight in the first half. The Rockets jumped out to a 13-5 lead in just a matter of minutes. The second half a little more up and down. Eastern pulling within two, but four Rockets in double figures, and Toledo opens Mac play with the W. You know, Eastern zone has always caused anybody complications, and you know we stuck to our game plan in the first half, executed perfectly. You know, played defense. And then second half, you know, they came out, they went on that big run. You know, the main thing with Eastern is, you know, stay composed, don't get frustrated, because the zone, like I said, definitely can cause frustrations and complications, but, you know, but me and Spencer, you know, we made sure we kept our uh, our young guys, our newcomers, you know, calm and uh, under under control. Spencer had a great game. Marion, five assists, zero turnovers. You have 19 assists and 10 turnovers against this team. I thought offensively we were really, really efficient the entire game. Uh, to put 91 points against a great defense, that, that, was, that was a good offensive performance. Now Toledo will play three non-conference games before returning to Mac play December 22nd when they take on Northern Illinois. Reporting from Eastern Michigan University, Christy Kopanis, WTOL 11. Christy, thanks. Last night, the BGSU men improved to 3-1 and one on the season. They took on Purdue University Northwest. They had four guys in double figures in the game. Justin Turner would lead the way with 19 points, but they also got some other contributions in this game. The freshman, Caden Matheny, had 15 points, including four threes. The Falcons now turn their attention to a big game inside the Stroh this Sunday at 6 p.m. against Buffalo. That will be their match opening. All right, it is time for another break. When we return, we are taking a look at the impact of the Lucas County shutdown of sports. So many kids are affected by these orders. We will hear from a few local coaches on just how difficult the last few weeks have been. That is coming up next.